Well, okay then, it's finally here, the Pixel 6 Pro. So, I'm going to open it up. Destructive, aren't I? So, three free months of binge and KO. Kind of cool. That's handy. Now in the box, typically a ten times bigger box than is actually needed for uh, what was shipped, but that's okay. So what we've got in the bag here. Of course, that's upside down for you. I'll put it the right way up. Should have flipped it in the thing, shouldn't I? We have a Pixel 6 Pro. I think it's called Stormy Black. I had to get Stormy Black because I wanted the 512 gig of RAM. And because, you know, local guides take a lot of bloody photos. And of course, I make Street View as well. So... Let's see how we get in here. Why well, it doesn't make much noise, it's disappointing. Pretty easy to open these little tabs. Excuse me being off-center, but I need to be near the camera. Okay. It's upside down again. Okay, here we go. First view. Oh. That's our first view of the camera module, right there. It's pretty cool. So, let's just put that off to one side for the moment. I know you want to see the phone. What else is in the box? Little pamphlet, no doubt the thing to put the SIM in. Little OTG connector on the go. A USB-C to USB-C cable. For charging purposes and you'll note there isn't a wall wart you don't get one anymore if you want one of them you've got to go to the store and buy it now fortunately if you bought it through the store you get a credit and coincidentally that credit is enough to order a wireless charging station and a wall wart surprise but anyway i'll be using that later because they're not actually available in the store just yet so back to one side the old one trying to tell me something. It's scared and lonely. It knows it's being replaced. Ah, pretty. Pretty black anyway. So, little speakers either side there and the USB port. Camera module really doesn't stick out very much. So if I hold it there, what could I compare this with? How about... How about... A local guides thank you card so it's probably twice as thick as a thick of sheet of thick cardboard so it's not actually very thick very thick at all it doesn't stick out much at all feels nice nice and weight good well balanced i think what i particularly like is this is the first pixel i've ever had where the damn thing's not slippery <laughs> all the others have been really slippery and you drop them but no this one feels nice that said, I've still ordered a case, because, you know, case, kind of important. I don't do screen protectors, but I do do a case. All right, should we try and wake it up? Don't know if they're charged, they usually are. I have to turn it the other way up, or it'll be up down, upside down for you. So it'll be upside down for me. First time I see it, it'll be upside down. Oop, flicker. Something going on. Wakey, wakey. This is where you wonder, did you press it long enough? Do I press it again? Hmm. Press it again. There we go. Okay. So waking up. So there is the tiny front camera protrusion. Booting up. And listen to that cat in the background digging for gold. All right. So we're nearly there now. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Might as well put it down. Eh? Waiting, waiting. Oh, did something. Woohoo! 
welcome to your pixel and that funny light you can see there is just the light on my webcam so that's uh, not on the phone itself well very cool i'm not going to take you through the setup because i don't know what it'll reveal about me while i'm doing it but i'll be transferring from my old pixel 3 xl onto this one and uh, readying the pixel 3 xl to go to its next generation home okay well there you go so phone otg cable pamphlet thing and the little sim sticky thingy uh sim card slots in the side by the looks of it normal sim card slot size no great surprise there I did already feel the haptic feedback. I see this thing wiggling around on the screen and I keep wanting to wipe it off. It looks like a hair, but that's okay. Um, so, and there was some subscriptions too. And I hope that wasn't clear enough for you to read my codes when they come out of the box. Ooh, better look at that. Um, some subscriptions to Binge and, and KO, which will be very welcome. Three months free of each. That's cool. And there's a credit in the store. So I look forward to getting out and about with this. Hmm, I reckon it might hit its first sunset today. We shall see. Because this is the Pro, and the Pro's got the white cam, the extra white cam, and the zoom. What the hell if I was over here? Zoom. All right, I'm just being a dickhead. But anyway, welcome to your pixel. Well, not your pixel, my pixel. Huh, you haven't got one? Suffer. All right, then. And no, I didn't get it for free. I paid for it. I didn't even get the local guide $70 off because it came after I bought it. Oh, well, that's just life, isn't it? Anyway, best phone for local guides, I reckon, because it's going to be cool. It's meant to have a really good camera. I will be doing camera reviews shortly. I would actually love it if I could replace my camera with this phone. That would be really interesting. That would be really cool kind of hope I can do that. No guarantees, but I kind of hope. Anyway, enjoy. Hope you liked seeing what was in the box, because eh, I like being a dickhead. And here it is, the phone. Bye.